solve trigonometric equation we go we're going to solve this trigonometric equation 8 to the power of sine squared theta plus 8 to the power of cosine squared theta equals 9 and we're going to solve for theta in degree so we know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1 that means sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. That means 8 to the power, this sine square, square theta can be written as 1 minus cosine square theta. That means this is 8 to the power of 1 minus cosine square theta plus 8 to the power of cosine square theta equals 9. So now we can split this into 8 to the power of 1 times 8 to the power of minus cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 9. Now let's introduce a new variable z. z equals 8 to the power of cosine squared theta. So that means this 8 times 8 to the power of minus cosine squared theta is z to the minus 1 plus 8 to the power of cosine squared theta is z equals 9. So now let's multiply both sides by z then 8 times z to the minus 1 plus z all times z is equal to 9z. Then this is a times z to the minus 1 times z is just 8. z times z is z squared and this is 9z. So that means this is z squared minus 9z plus 8 equals 0 then this can be factored as z minus 1 times z minus 8 equals 0. So that means z minus 1 equal to 0. That means z equals 1. And z minus 8 equal to 0. That means z equals 8. Now for z equals 1, 8 to the power of cosine squared theta is equal to z. That means 8 to the power of cosine squared theta is equal to 1. And the, uh, 1 is 8 to the 0. That means, that means cosine squared theta is equal to 0. So that means cosine theta is equal to 0 when you take square root of both sides. That means theta is cosine inverse of 0 and this is the first solution. That means theta is cosine inverse of 0 and that is cosine inverse of 0 is 90 degree and the 270, 450, minus 90 minus 270 that means it is 90 degree and 270 degree and all they are coterminals okay so this means when n is 0 it is 90 degree when n is 1 it is 270 degree and all they are coterminals where n is any integer from negative infinity to infinity so that's the first solution. Then for z equals 8, 8 to the power of cosine squared theta is equal to z. That means 8 to the power of cosine squared theta is equal to 8. And the 8 is 8 to the 1, to the power of 1. That means cosine squared theta is equal to 1. 
That means you need to take square root of both sides. Cosine theta is equal to 1 plus or minus 1. So that means when cosine theta is equal to 1, theta is cosine inverse of 1. This is the second solution. For that, theta is cosine inverse of 1, and that is cosine inverse of 1 is 0 degree, 360 degree, to 720 degree minus 360 degree minus 720 degree and that is it is 360 degree and all it is coterminals so it is 360 degree times n where n is any integer from negative infinity to infinity so this is when n is 0 it is 0 when n is 1 it is 360 when n is 2 it is 720 when n is negative 1, it is minus 360. When n is minus 2, it is minus 720. Then, when cosine theta is equal to minus 1, theta is cosine inverse of minus 1, and this is the third solution. So, and for that, Theta is cosine inverse of minus 1, which is 180 degree, 540, 900, minus 180, minus 540, and so on. That is theta equals 180 degree times 1 plus 2n, where n is any integer from negative infinity to infinity, and that is 180 degree, and it's all coterminals. When n is 0, it is 180 degree. When n is 1, it is 3 times 180, which is 540. When n is 2, it is 900. When n is minus 1, it is minus 180. When n is minus 2, it is minus 540. And so, therefore, uh, theta is 90 degree plus 1 plus 2n, and that is 90 degree, and all it is coterminalis, and 70 degree, and all it is coterminalis. Those are quadrantal angles. And 2, it is the quadrantal angle 360 and all it is coterminals. So that is 0 degree and 360 and all they are coterminals. Then the third one is the quadrantal angle 180 degree and all it is coterminals. Okay? Where n is so it is one so it is theta equals 90 degree times 1 plus 2n and theta equals 360 times n, and theta equals 180 degree times 1 plus 2n, where n is any integer from negative infinity to infinity. And here it is in picture format. It is, number 1 is, it is 90 degree, and 270 degree and all it is coterminals they are coterminals that is the quadrantal angle 90 degree in 270 which can be written as 90 degree times 1 plus 2n so when n is 0 it is 90 degree when n is 1 it is 270 and it, it fluctuates between 90 and 270 as n goes on increases the second solution, it is 0 degree and 360 degree, and they are coterminals. When n is 0, it is 0 degree. When n is 1, it is 360. When n is 2, it is 720, and so on. The third solution is the quadrantal angle, 180 degree, and all it is coterminals. And this is written as theta equals 180 degree times 1 plus 2n, 
when n is 0 it is 180 degree when n is 1 it is 180 degree times 3 which is 540 and so these are the quadrantal angle and the n is any integer from negative infinity to infinity and thank you please subscribe share and like and ask your friends to subscribe share and like